I would like to share with you the seven habits of successful gardeners. These are the basic habits that I see are necessary to be a successful organic vegetable grower. Okay, number one is dedicating time. It's like owning a puppy. If you want a good puppy, you need to dedicate some time to train and love them. The garden is the same. I find that it takes about 15 minutes a day to tend and care for your garden. In my 15 minutes, I like to check the water, and if I see a weed, I go and get it. I look at the color of the plants. Does it look healthy? Does it look happy? If you are looking every day, you will know what is normal and healthy. If there is something off, you can catch it early and intervene. If you must be away for a few days, just like your puppy, you get a sitter. I find that it is easy to make this a habit if you attach your garden time to something else that you do every day. My sister tends her garden in the morning before she goes to work. Some people like to do their garden in the evening and after dinner before the dishes are done. You get the idea. I don't like to be in the garden in the heat of the day, so morning or evening is better. The second habit is be observant. You need to keep an eye on things that will affect your garden. This includes what is happening in the soil. Is it too dry? Is it too wet? What is the weather doing? Do I need to protect the garden? What are the plants doing? How do the leaves look? And how does the produce look? So the third habit is to always be organic. And we do this to protect and take care of the soil, the plants, your life, and the environment. There is no reason to ever put chemicals in your vegetable garden. The fourth habit is keep the garden clean. If you keep it clean as you go, you won't have the overwhelming garden problems that most people complain about. This is keeping the hard out of gardening. This is preventative gardening. To keep it clean, you will need to prune and train your plants, keep the weeds out, remulch, and keep your aisles clean. The fifth habit of successful gardeners is schedules and routines. At the beginning of the season, you want to plan out your routine. You want to have a plan for the maintenance, feeding, and harvest schedule. It is really a good habit to journal your gardening activities so you don't miss any of the ongoing routines. Habit number six is be thankful for what you do get out of your garden. Not every plant is going to live and not every plant is going to produce. I think it is so important to be thankful for the successes you have and the experiences that you get from the garden. Even your failures are okay if you learn something from them. The seventh habit of successful gardeners is they celebrate and they share. You need to celebrate your successes. Talk about your garden, share photos of your garden. It is an awesome thing to be a gardener. Your successes will inspire others. And I want you to share your crops. Let others taste what a nutrient dense food tastes like. Let them experience food right out of the garden. This is something that many people have never experienced. Also go out and share your knowledge with friends and families and neighbors.